my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Christy and I like to have a good time over here. Today's video we are going to be playing with the Escape Pod. So it's the new palette from Kaleidos, which is such an underrated brand. I promise you if you haven't checked them out, definitely do it. But this palette was so beautiful and I couldn't not just play with color today. I mean, look at her. She's gorgeous. And I've been so just neutral lately and doing like my everyday glam that I'm like, I need some splash of life on my face, and this is what turned out. <laughs> but if I see how I got this look, then just please keep watching. All right guys, so getting started, I wanna play with some color today, so I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna play with the Escape Pod from Kaleidos. Look at this palette. Oof, God, it's so pretty. And then of course it has a gorgeous mirror, but look at these shades. Oh my goodness, I'll give you a close up. Look how beautiful. All of these shades are. I don't know what direction I want to go in with yet because I love the whole top row and I kind of want to use everything. We'll see. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with the P. Louise base. This is just in 0.5. Now I actually like to apply mine with a sponge just because it is a really thick consistency and I don't like it getting too crazy. So I like to just tap it on to my sponge. I need a tiny mirror. Where did my ABH go? I lose shit on this table after like two seconds and I just cleaned it. So I'm just gonna tap this all over the eyelid. I don't know what I want to do. I kind of need like a dramatic ass cut crease. I'm going to go into Mardi Gras, and I'm going to use a T53, no, not. I'm going to go in with an M508 from Morphe. I'm just going to use this to kind of map out where I want to go. And I do want it to be a little bit more on the dramatic side. And I want it to come out pretty far. And now I'm going to go into Soiree. I'm going to use an M321. I'm going to use this to blend out that purple. And I always really take my time with cut creases because it's kind of a trust the process. I'm gonna take a clean T82 from the Makeup Shack and I'm just gonna use this because it's super light and fluffy. I'm just gonna use this to really blend out the top part. I'm gonna go back into that first shade and just kind of re-stamp the line a little bit. And again, blend that out. Now my favorite thing to actually cut my crease is the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't love the P. Louise base to cut the crease. It's just a little too thick for me. So I'm going to go with my Tarte Shape Tape in Fair Beige. And I'm going to use ABH Cosmetics number 9. Again, favorite brush of life. And I'm just going to cut the crease. Talk it 
And now I'm gonna go into Starlight Sonata. And I'm gonna use a T77 from the makeup shot. And I'm just going to set all underneath that cut crease. That is stunning, by the way. Now I'm gonna go into Exo Planet. I'm gonna use a JH43. And I'm just going to stamp this I'm just going to stamp this right at my lash line. And slowly kind of blend that out. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Flamingo. I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line, so I wanna bring a pop of color underneath. I'm gonna use a Makeup Shackle Flat Shader Brush. And I'm gonna blend that out with Tango. I'm gonna use a T33. I really hope that sparkle shows up on camera because it is so pretty. So I'm pretty happy with how this eye is looking. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one off camera and I'll be right back. All right guys, so both eyes are finished. I'm gonna go into liner. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Insomniac. And for lashes, I'm gonna go into the Makeup Shack. These are Vixen. How gorgeous are these? I cannot wait to put these on my face. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. I really hope you did enjoy it. I just wanted to sit down and play with some color today, and I have to say I like how it turned out. I am really excited about this palette also. Like, everything performed so beautifully. This is an underrated brand, I swear to you. If you haven't checked them out, definitely do it. This is a gorgeous addition to all of their collections. I mean, this is such a beautiful palette. I love the packaging. This is really inspiring right here. I kind of want to put this on my eye, too. <laughs> we'll see but I really hope you did enjoy it if you did make sure to big thumbs up I really appreciate it it does help me out so much of course leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this look do you want to see another look using the palette just let me know make sure you subscribe before you leave and hit the little bell notification too so you miss the uploads from me and I will see you in my next video bye